Yeah. And this pizza is so bland. Yo, you say bland? You want to go to Cross Street? What's Cross Street? Fried Chicken Place. Fried Chicken Place? Yeah, sure. So, uh, tell me more about this Cross Street. Okay, so it's a Korean fried chicken place. Tommy, his wife Grace, and his partner Wilson opened up in 2017 on Conway District. And now they finally expanded to Del Mar, and that's where we're going today. Oh. I'm down to check it out. I'm Tommy Nguyen, uh, co-owner of Crossfit Chicken and Beer. Uh, I own this uh, brand and company with my wife, Grace Chi, and uh, my partner, Wilson Toad. So first off, like, is it the, the yeah. joke of why did the chicken cross the road? That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you hit the nail right on the head. Uh, and we were figuring, you know, what would be a good name for this that people can kind of, like a nice play on words. And we're like, this makes a lot of sense. Why did the chicken cross the street? Our very first location is on Convoy Street, which is like one of the most popular Asian-centric street for, for food. Figured we we're right at the cross street of Convoy and Armour Street. Makes so much sense for chicken cross the street. We wanted to piece the chicken and beer part in there, um, just so the fact that you know everybody knows exactly what we serve. First thing people ask is, what do you recommend, right? Um, and honestly, my personal go-to is the wings. I mean, we, we are known for the chicken and anything about the chicken, you can't go wrong with it. Chicken sandwiches have been a huge hit. Um, we launched that just trying to test the market, but we want to incorporate the Korean fried aspect to the chicken sandwich. Let's just start talking about the new menu. You kept, yeah. You kind of hinted at it, like special menu items. Uh, absolutely. Location. At this point, I would love to bring my partner Wilson into the mix and have him talk a little bit about his inspiration because he's the man behind, you know, kind of growing that menu and uh, he will make your mouth water, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, my name is Wilson To and I'm the partner and regional manager of all the cross streets. So, we want to hear some of your secrets. The secret is basically the ingredients we put in there. I think every step of the way we want to make sure there's flavor and some thoughtfulness behind the concepts. Um, so I think that's what brought us to the success of being known for chicken wings and sandwiches to this day. We're trying to hit every aspect and hit every palate on your taste profile. So a little savory, sweet, salty, spicy, and just create a whole experience through flavors of food. And would you say that's like inspired from a certain region? Or when we first started opening CrossFit, we took heavy influence from Korea uh, with Korean fried chicken and taking different flavors of Korean cuisine. Um, so spicy being our most popular with the inspiration of Yang Yum, which uh, derives from flavors of garlic and gochujang. It's the Korean chili paste. Um, after that, we kind of started exploring into flavors like Nashville and garlic parmesan and lemon pepper and kind of just nostalgic flavors that you think of when you're younger or just great pairings with food. Like what's your favorite menu item? The hot chick sandwich. Hands down the hot chick sandwich I have at least once a week. So the hot chick sandwich is something we're extremely proud of going back to the concept of playing with textures and flavors. With the texture you have the crunchiness of the chicken, you have the softness of the bun, uh, freshness of the coleslaw, and then in regards to flavors, you have your sweet, your spicy, your salty, and then your acid. So it kind of brings everything together. And that's what I love most about it. Are we, are we trying that later? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for Del Mar, we were able to explore our menu out a little bit more and introduce more of a Korean cuisine to the Del Mar area. So something that we're most proud of right now would be the bibimbap, uh, sundubu, which is a spicy tofu soup, and the kimchi fried rice. Those are dishes that aren't too familiar to this community, so that's something we're very excited about to introduce to people that are coming to CrossFit for the first time, so in telling them about what ingredients go into it or how to consume it for that matter. So that's something very exciting to see to create that new experience for everyone, because as you get older, first time experiences don't come as often anymore. Love for you guys to experience all three of them. To have them all at the same time, that's going to be exciting for both of us to experience. Yo, doesn't this look great? <laughs> should we do rice first, or should we do wings first, or should we do sandwich first? We have to save the sandwich for last one because, you know, Wilson was telling me how much he loved the sandwich. It's okay. Sandwich. Okay, we'll, right, we'll do it last. Side, but I'm picking at the fries. That? All right. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, days out, we're gonna, we're gonna go ham. Okay, time to mix it up. 
mix it up. Yeah, like Wilson talking about, it's like the green that comes through. I'm just so excited to see some of the red. You hear that? Today, we're gonna be family, so we can eat family stuff. Heck yeah. Ready? Okay, I got, I got a little, oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Cheers. Mm. This is so comfortable. The sauce kind of tastes. I don't like Spicy sweet, sweet, right? sweet? Yeah. With a little bit of acid. I've been smelling this for like the last 15 minutes. It looks really good. Are you going to go with Parmesan first or the so spicy? I think I'm going to go in for the Parmesan first. I'll go in with you. I want to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chicken cheers. Mm, it's so crispy. This is really good. I want to get a close-up shot. What is this? Of the juices? Can I close-up shot of the juices? Wow, this is just really saucy. It smells really good. Oh, you're not going oh no. When you go in, it's just kind of like that sweet flavor. And then as you chew on it, it kind of gets that like late, late onset spice. There's a very, yeah, there's a very slight spice. I'm, for someone that doesn't really do a lot of spice, this is actually, Pretty, pretty doable, but I get a hit of the spice later on after the I know, the my though. tongue is burning just a little bit, but honestly, I could eat a whole plate of this. Mm. Nice. There's a good little... Wow, look little, at this drip, though. Look at this burnt little extra, extra skin right here. This is one thick chicken. Yeah, I remember he told us, like, he, the really, like, the palate cleanser, the coleslaw, then the really, really chick, uh, crispy chicken, mm. and then he's like, the perfect softness in the bun. Right? I'm ready. ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, oh. they're still tied together. All right, cheers. All right, cheers. I do taste the um the acid mm -hmm. and the saltiness and the sweetness that Wilson described. It's actually kind of no, it's it's in there. I can taste everything. The first thing that hit me was the coleslaw. You kind of have that like the wet juiciness, and it's like what did what did they put on coleslaw? Like mayo and ranch. Kind of like kind of ranch flavor. You think so? Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of what hit me first, and I kind of like that because then, like right after that, you get the crispiness of the chicken, which is like really juicy and savory, and also that little bit of crisp, which gives you a nice texture. Mm. I know it's a spicy chicken, but it's kind of like that peppery chicken. Yeah, so, it's actually not as um, it's not as hot as I thought. Yeah, I'm not like painting. Not, I don't. know. No, it's it's really nice. A cup of water right now. Yeah. Have you always planned to be on Convoy? Our second location is in Carlsbad, and it's right at the Windmill Food Hall, right across the street from the Flower Field. And we figured that was a uh, far enough location to kind of outreach to, you know, the demographic up there. Um, and again, just what we did in Convoy to bring, you know, San Diego to that area, we wanted to do that same with Delmore Highlands. Our goal is to every step of the way, every neighborhood that we move to, we want to add a little extra to it. The, the unique menu items that this location have compared to the uh, the other. You know, they, they drive down there because they know, number one, is they read somewhere, they've seen on the news article that convoys the area for Asian food, so we figured, how about just bring it up to them? You want us to say anything else? Want to fry? That was a really great lunch at Cross Street. Yeah, it was. I think my favorite one was probably the hot chick sandwich for sure. I think the flavors are really like spicy and savory and also just like, I don't know, it was just a really good experience. I think I everything paired so up really filling. well. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite for me was probably the chicken wings. It just, everything was so crunchy, but you have to get prepared to get all your hands dirty, your mouth mm -hmm. dirty, everything's dirty, and then you go wash your hands in the bathroom. Yeah, it's totally fine. I think uh, also, I think Prashi's doing a really good job being able to represent a lot of the Korean flavors to the San Diego community, especially here in Del Mar. Um, so and then also bringing the San Diego community to their restaurant, like the decorations, the vibe of the whole place, which is really amazing. Yeah, totally. So that was Community Eats here at Cross Street. Tune in next time for our next episode of Community Eats.